Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. I hope you have been enjoying all of the Computex 2013 coverage. If you missed any of it, just go to pcper.com slash Computex and you can follow up all the news, announcements, uh, little uh, gadgets that we found, new motherboards we found, possibilities of five gigahertz processors. There's a lot of stuff going on if you've missed any of it. Uh, we did get some video from Intel sent to us about uh, some private demos that they were giving at the suite, at, in a suite at the Hyatt. And I wanted to go ahead and, and show some of that and share it with you guys and give you a little bit of an overview of what we saw. Some of it was announced at their keynote. Others might be a little bit new to at least most of us. Uh, the first thing they showed off was a new Acer Aspire S7 Haswell-based notebook. Now, what's interesting about this is that it has a longer battery, or has a larger battery for a longer battery life. Uh, I think they said it was a 47 watt hour battery. They didn't give a whole lot of other specs on it. Uh, I'd expect this to be a dual core, hyper-threaded, kind of a low voltage part. Um, this is gonna be one of those laptops that may possibly get that extended 40 to 50% extra battery life that we were promised uh, by Intel for the Haswell platform. They demonstrated a face login technology with it, you know, give or take on that. And then they showed a game called Defense Grid running with the uh, touchscreen enabled controls as well. And although this is all third party for us as well, it look, does look pretty good. It looks like it's uh, respons or responsive enough uh, in all regards. They also showed 4K video playback on this Haswell machine. That's a 100 megabit per second encoded 4K video. I believe it's 3840 by 2160 running at 24 frames per second. It is downscaled to playback on the 1080p display, of course, but uh, if you hook this up to a 4K monitor, in theory, you can use this as a, as a high resolution video playback device. The second thing that the team showed off was a ultra low voltage Ivy Bridge machine. You might think, well, with Haswell out, what's the point of showing Ivy Bridge products? Well, this is a completely passively cooled fanless tablet, right? So this has kind of been the, the crux for Intel's tablet push over the last year was active designs being louder, processors being a little bit hotter than what you get with uh, some of the higher performance ARM tablets. And with this design, they're hoping to alleviate that. Um, they were showing it doing some modest gaming, and then they allowed people that were in the room to kind of touch the back of it and make sure that it wasn't running too hot. Coolness on tablets, tablets that you are holding in your hands directly is obviously a big concern. Intel also showed off a new Lenovo K900 phone. Uh, it's a re rather large phone, five and a half inch screen with a 1920 by 1080 resolution. That's uh, 401 pixels per inch, I think is what the math comes out to. This phone's powered by the Clover Trail Plus design. That's the Intel Atom Z2580. It's a two gigahertz part, dual core, hyper threaded. Uh, it has two gigs of memory. And like I said, it does have a 19 by 10 screen. So it actually looks really, really nice. It's running Android 4.2. Um, <clears throat> and it's not really, we don't really know if it's gonna be available in the US market. My guess is not. We, Lenovo hasn't seen cell phones really released outside of like China, Asia, and a couple of other smaller markets. Uh, but it is a good sign to see Intel's Clover Trail Plus uh, making some waves in the mobile space. It is not a Silvermont-based design. This is older generation Atom architecture, uh, but we will start to see some Silvermont stuff coming up in the not too distant future. Finally, speaking of Silvermont, they did show and just barely show a mock-up, not a mock-up, but an actual running demonstration of a Bay Trail based tablet. No specs other than, yes, this is powered by the Silvermont architect architecture and the Bay Trail SOC. Uh, it was running a 2560 by 1440 resolution display, but other than that, I think all they did was show it running at a Windows desktop. Uh, so not much to take away from there. That's a product that's going to be late 2013 or early 2014 for sure. So Intel did have some cool stuff to show off at Computex this year. I think the main focus for them is still definitely Haswell, right? It was released at Computex. We'll start to see a lot more notebooks released in the second half of 2013 based on the Haswell design. But don't be surprised if Computex next year is much more heavily focused on tablets, cell phones, and that elusive Silvermont architecture. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Ryan Shrout for PC Perspective.